Hey guys, we were at my storage unit, so let's go ahead and people want to see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and take a look. Mine does come with a nice light, so that helps. Um, so this is it. It's a 10 by 15. Um, I can already say from the get-go, I think down the road we'll probably expand to a 10 by 20. Get the extra five feet and probably move more of the packing supplies in here. So um, I've had this since November. It's now February. Um, a lot of stuff in here. Most of my inventory is in here um, that's been listed. Um, stuff that I'm working on, and my, again, my packing supplies are still in the garage, but um, most of it's in here. It's still not organized perfectly yet, but it's um, it's getting there. So I wanted to show you guys maybe this video to see kind of what it's like right now. At least to give some of you a glimpse, because I've had a few different people ask me about it, and um, I want to be able to show you guys, give you an idea. It's not perfect, I'm sure. Um, like Lonnie's got a real cool storage, or storage shed that he works out of, and there's some other people who um, have some pretty cool setups mine's nothing fancy but it does work for me it's better than it all being the garage and my wife having no room for anything and getting mad so i'm happy about that um so we'll kind of go over how it's set up how it's organized for now and again a lot of it's not finalized yet it just um unfortunately there's so much new product coming in and listening to do and just life with the new baby and everything so um, it just keeps us even though he's, he's almost one now it's not even a new baby but this keeps you busy, and then the organization of this kind of gets put back. So, um, up top, you probably saw these plastic bins. Um, they are all closed. Um, I originally had them on a shelf, and actually two shelves, but I found that it was just not really working out for me. They took up way too much space up there, and I wasn't utilizing the um, space on top of the shelves. So, I don't sell clothes that often. I moved them up here. Um, as you can see, they're all bagged. There's different kinds of bags because some of them are from different times that I've listed. But when you see me sell something that comes in those plastic bags, I've divided these up into categories. I'm going to put um, labels on here. My wife's going to print them out for me. Um, she's going to order. She said she's supposed to order the ones. Um, also, so she'll know when stuff's in here in case I'm not available to pick it up. She can come pick it up or even one of our family members can. So these are kind of all sweaters and jackets. These four right here. Um, these are NFL jerseys. There's two. This one's full. That one's like not even that full yet. Uh, these are like baseball, hockey jerseys. And, oh, no, basketball up top and then baseball and hockey jerseys. Don't have as many of the baseball and hockey. They go in there one together. And then there's quite a bit of basketball and football at the most. Then it's like um, sports apparel, like for teams and stuff. It's like crew necks, jackets, um sweater there's like a track suit in there that's for a school you know it could be colleges or nfl whatever sports team just kind of keep those separate from the other jackets next is t-shirts there's two buckets of those what i'd like to do is probably split them up where like one maybe has band tees and you know whatever and the other one has everything else because i have a lot of band shirts in there so that's a possible division um, here's a couple of things that are just too big, so probably a safety hazard. Don't recommend just leaving this sticking out like that. Um, luckily, my wife's short enough, so she'll she'll be underneath it. But um, just a little tip. Uh, here are some collar polos. These are going to be that's like a Greg Norman one there. There's some Ralph Lauren polos in there. A couple of Nauticas, I think. Tommy Hilfiger. Any kind of polo, Under Armour. They all kind of fit in these two buckets. Um, I don't buy as many of those. It used to be pretty two full buckets, but it's kind of gotten dwindled down. Over here is Hawaiian shirts, I believe. Um, these are all Hawaiian shirts or like um, button-down short sleeve shirts, different kinds. So they're both in here. Here is long sleeve, um, button-down and button front shirts. And lastly are men's and women's jeans. The bucket's kind of twisted. So that's how the clothes are. Um, nothing real crazy. Um, they are all bagged like you've seen. None of those should be out of the bag, so... Um, that's how I do that. Then starting in the front, right when you walk in to the left, uh, video games, probably the most active of all the the shelves. Um, up top is like PS3 games and GameCube 360, original Xbox. I got two stacks of Wii, two stacks of PS2, PS1, some DS stuff. These are like usually loose discs and stuff. I want to get a... Um, one of those little binders where I can put them in, so I'll probably invest in that and use that to store the disc. That way they're a little bit more protected. Um, these two games sold today, so they got pulled. And then the other shelves are usually systems. There's a broken PS3 there, a working 360, some broken Game Cubes. Here's a Nerf Wii thing, a PS2 Slim back there. 
360 or PS3 guitars, another PS3 that works, 360. There's a Nintendo, a Wii U box, more systems at the bottom down there. There's like a space in the back because these systems are always selling. So I'm constantly moving stuff around. More systems here. Here's some boxes of like controllers and accessories and stuff. So I just kind of divide them up. Um, like this is more PlayStation and Xbox. This is like Nintendo. And this is mostly Wii stuff. And then up here is all like cartridge based games for the most part. There's 64, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, more Super uh, 64. There's some Genesis stuff. Some, there's a 3DS in there, odds and ends, more Genesis stuff. So that kind of wraps up most of the video game. Some of it leaks into this section. These are some PC and Commodore 64 games, so not a whole lot. And then this is just unorganized. It needs to be taken better care of. It's got printer ink, Canon photo paper. It's got more Canon photo paper here. iPhone boxes, which have really died down. For a while there, I was selling them all the time, and that's just kind of stopped. So I'm going to look into a little further, maybe adjust pricing, but it might be time where they're just not not doing anything anymore um and then some electronic stuff down here is all sealed media cassettes vhs used to be beta max tapes here mini um micro cassettes all kinds of stuff um this is just some software that needs to go somewhere else actually so that's kind of just a mix of all sealed stuff down here um this is the thing where it needs to be organized because this is just a mix of odds and ends I want this to be electronics because it kind of continues with the theme, like the CD player there, and then some VHS at the bottom, a PS2 box. One thing that also needs to be moved, um, probably to the back side over here, we haven't got to that section yet, is these mugs. I found these really cool little cardboard inserts inside of a box that someone gave me, and I decided to keep them, and they do really great for mugs. You can kind of see, it kind of keeps them there. Some of them, this one fits really tight, the one in the back, um, but little mugs fit in there, the big ones. Even this little tiki mug fits, and it kind of keeps them secure. So if I ever see more of these, I'm going to pick them up because they're really great for storage because um, it offers them a little protection, and that way no one bumps them in here. Moving forward, um, this is more electronics. These are like kind of the medium, small to medium ones, pencil sharpeners, Polaroid back there, another Polaroid. Um, what else is there? Uh, Sony Handycam's back there, a CB radio, here's a bunch of phones, a uh, MacBook that's broken. These needs to be organized. These are all buckets of smaller electronics and like little toys. I'll open one up. You can see it's just chaos. This is one where I just threw a bunch of stuff in here when I was moving into the uh, out of my garage. Um, I need to organize this and put like remotes in one, chargers in one, small toys. And then all, what I like to do with the toys is bag them up into little plastic bags. That way if there's multiple, they're all nice and organized. So that'll do that. I'll put um, CD players in here. Like if I, sell, if I buy a Walkman and I'm selling it, phones, anything where it's like a little bit bigger but it needs a little more protection, I'll throw it in one of these. This is a bin of like, it was chargers, uh, drill chargers and all kinds of stuff. There is a camera in there. It's broken. Um, that's really not supposed to be in there, but it fell in. But it's mostly chargers um, to 360s, different stuff. And then down at the bottom is um, we got a Sony, what is this, a DVD combo right here. Um, and then also down here, it's getting dark, sorry about that. That's the Drake um, CB radio stuff, pretty expensive. Here's a bunch of business phones. Then we're on the last shelf on this side. Um, this is all kitchen appliances right here. So food processors, that's a... Like a pasta maker or something on our juicer um these bins right here are all pieces where i've pretty much gotten rid of most of the food processor and i usually just label it with some masking tape so there's three boxes of those um here's this again this isn't really the greatest organization but it's what i have right now um some C uh, car stereos down there up here i got like knives in a bucket just so people know won't get stabbed um a knife block right there uh, this is a flatware set here, and then just some odds and ends. There's some Harley parts in there. Then to this side, this is the middle. Up top, some big bubble bubble wrap we ordered. Uh, my wife, she did it. Don't tell her I said this, but she ordered the wrong kind a while back. So we got a bunch of the big bubble wrap, and we wanted the small. I do use the big bubble, but I don't need as much as I had. So it's stored in here for now. Um, here's like a... Um, like a self-help get rich type set that I bought. It's never sold. It's been here forever. Here's some hockey gloves and golf head covers in there. Down here we have a bag of like backpacks and purses. 
can see I don't really like lids that much. Here's a bunch of, um, this is kind of like military clothing, so camis and stuff like that, sweaters, all kinds of stuff. Down there is more business phones, and there's like a little statue thing. Um, unfortunately, what I don't have set up is a clothing rack in here, which I'm working on. Um, so all this other stuff kind of gets blocked by the clothes, but this middle section up here is all stuff in boxes. Uh, these are brand new uh, vent ventilation fan covers. There's like a little robotics kit, a sealed Crayola set, floppy disk thing, puzzle, Yadro. Um, there's another video or a board game there. This actually sold, so I have to pull this out. These are Harley Forks right here in this box. Um, there's motorcycle covers. Down here we got toys and plush, all kind of just mixed together. A, bat, a box of gloves, and there's some horses in there. Um, up top we have helmets, Yadro, a big Gatorade cooler, puzzles, my little sheep guardian up there kind of watching everything for me. That's a big thing of Duplos. Again, here's all my jackets you'll see, and there's a Bulls one, Raiders one. These are just hanging in here. Um, it's not really the long-term solution, but I'll show you what I plan to do. Here's more stuff that's usually like in a box or kind of more square. It all fits in here. Um, in this bucket is a bunch of new sealed stuff. Down here is more toys. Um, the ones in plastic bags are all divided, so all the toys stay together. This middle shelf is pretty much, or this front shelf is not used too much. Um, this is all stuff I, I want to put somewhere else, so it's just waiting here. Another box of clothes of, like, cargo shorts and stuff and stuff that needs to go on the middle shelf. The top is hats, two buckets of hats. What I'd like to do is take out this shelf right here, and I think I'll be able to actually hang the jackets, you know, kind of, like, in line like this down the middle of this, and that'll offer me, um, something for them. I don't have that many. I probably have maybe under 10 that need to be listed. There's probably... or hung there's probably seven here seven or eight i think i have two at home so i don't get them that much but i'd like to be able to hang them in here so they're order i don't like to wrap them and pack them like all the other clothes because the big jackets sometimes they just don't look that good coming out of there so and the final side over here is some golf clubs and a ton of books you got magazines in the bottom different kinds of books here more books a whole row of bibles um a lot of these ones are the ones that aren't that great. There's a couple of still good ones in there. They're listed pretty high, but some of them are the ones where I was buying everything for like 50 cents, and now I just got to wait for it to sell. A bunch of kids' books up here in different sets. The thing I like to do is rubber band them now. Um, it helps me keep the ones together, especially when I end up with multiples. Some of these weren't rubber banded when I put them in here, but that's the future. A bunch of car manuals up there. Um, Bibles and yearbooks are over here. And there's some strategy guides and stuff. This needs to be organized too, but it's mostly DVDs, media, it's CDs, DVDs, audiobooks, all down these rows right here. You can kind of see. And then at the bottom is um, the Time Life, not Time Life, Louis L'Amour um, leatherette sets. The two boxes there, so hopefully those will move soon. Fringe. By the way, if you find this DVD, the whole DVD set, it does really well. So it sells almost like within a day every time for me. Lost does as well. Look out for Lost number six. That's the best one. Um, shoes right here. Um, all kinds of, like a whole row of shoes. Another row of shoes here. More shoes down here and some ties in this bucket. Uh, more books. And those are just cross stitch. I haven't, I'm not sure where I want to put those yet. And then at the bottom is a box of stuff that I think is I've already removed that was in here that's old inventory that's not listed anymore. So i got to go through it and double check and I'll pull that out. Up top is the uh, Disney roller coaster I bought. And all the Mario um, cards are in there. A couple of other manuals over here. Almost a full blank shelf. Just a couple of shoes on here. And lastly, the final corner. We've all made it to the end. Um, this is the stuff that I am... Um, working on, I, I collect a lot up or whatever, so uh, there's a lot of books here, a series of unfortunate events, I think I bought one when I was in Florida, the one I needed to finish one set, so I leave those in here until I get the rest, this is wrist, Lord of the Rings, um, I think I'm missing a few pieces, oh, I'm missing the ring, so I'll use this, to, if I buy another wrist, I'll use this to for extra pieces, Got the wooden tennis rackets that I buy, all the puzzles that I buy. Kids gloves, which I haven't been picking up, but I need to because if you get a bunch of them around t-ball time, people will buy them. 
a bunch of different cassettes that are not really worth a whole lot by themselves. So I'm hoping to get more, more books, um, Star Wars guns, more books, and just odds and ends stuff over here. This guy is listed, this really cool like frosted tree, but um, I haven't moved him yet. So that's everything, guys. Um, it's nothing crazy. I know, um, like you said, a lot of people have way better setups than me, um, but this is just kind of how I'm doing it. It needs work, um, but it's way more functional than it was at home. It's costing me like 140 bucks, and I had to buy the insurance to rent the unit, so I am spending a little bit more money, but it's well worth it because, again, it's keeping my wife happy for when at home, and I'm finding stuff a lot easier once it's sold. I don't have to dig around. I used to have to, like, scrounge because stuff would be mixed in all different kinds of places. So um, it does need work. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Um, but that's kind of what it is. Um, like I said, hopefully I can do another video soon where I show you guys, um, kind of the finished product. Oh, I have an old golf bag that I bought and then I put all my clubs in here that I'm selling that are just like maybe one or two clubs or, you know, a little set of three. I put them all in here and then I just pull them when I need them. So that kind of works for that. Here's what it looks like when I bring more, um, stuff. All this stuff is listed. So all this needs to get unloaded and put in here. This is about... A week and a half worth of listing so it's not a ton of stuff but um it sure looks like it but it's really not that much so i gotta get all this on the shelves and then pull the rest of the orders that sold so hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions let me know and um again i just want to make it clear i'm really not trying to brag or boast i just know some people have been curious about how i do it and i was planning to wait till it was all finished but the reality is that might be this you know one year after having the unit before i'm really happy with it so I wanted to show you now so you guys can see um, I'm not all put together like some people thought I was. But, um, you know, it's working, it's functional, and we're making money, and we're making enough to pay off this and what we need. So, hope again, hope you guys enjoy. Take care. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And hopefully, remind me down the road if I haven't made one, do a follow-up, and we'll see if, you know, maybe in six months if it looks any better. Take care, guys.